Hi, I'm Brian Elliott. Welcome to another edition of Behind the Brand. Today I'm here with author, entrepreneur, thought leader Seth Godin. Seth, welcome to the show. Thanks, Brian. Um, talk to us a little bit about art and becoming an artist. This is an amazing book, and you're telling everyone that they may not know it, but they're an artist. What's that about? Well, you know, writers, we work with words. And sometimes we make up words like purple cow, and sometimes we have to repurpose them. I needed a word to describe what human beings do when they act like humans, not small machines. What we do when we are out there putting our stamp on something, something that might not work. And most of all, I needed a word to describe the generosity and human connection that this kind of work makes. So I called it art, because we can agree that a playwright is making art and that Jackson Pollock was making art. Um, but it's also art when you go to a restaurant and they serve you a dish made with care just for you. And it's also art when your insurance broker says, you know, there's a guy down the street who can sell you something better than I can. Let me go walk you over there and I'll introduce you to him. That is not in the rule book. It's human. It's something new and fresh. And so what my work has been about for the last little while is the distinction between the mechanics of doing what other people tell you to, the mechanics of the dummy's guide, the mechanics of uh, this is what I do all day. How do I do it faster and cheaper? I'm not interested in that. Right. To how do we become artists? Because when we were four, all of us painted a finger painting that had never been painted before. When we were seven, we told a joke that had never been told before. When we were nine, we walked up to someone and showed them we cared about them. And then over time, it gets burnt out of us, and I want to bring that back. And we start asking for a roadmap too, don't we? Oh yeah, we got brainwashed into asking for roadmaps. That that's what the SAT is, of course. Uh, that's what they test you for in school. That someone who's good in school is actually someone who's good at following maps. Uh, then we get to work, particularly at a bigger organization, and it's not them saying figure it out, use your best judgment. It's them saying look on page thirty-seven and do what it says. That map reading mindset is putting us into a real bind now. And I think we need to figure out how to train our kids and train ourselves instead of looking for a map to look for a compass. And instead of asking for directions, giving directions.